Okay, there's the uh, the new volcano uh, snow mountain. I forgot what they call it. Uh, it's called Expedition Vegas. Okay, Expedition Vegas, as in snow. Illegal uh, activity going on over here. This guy's definitely selling illegal merchandise. They said they were going to crack down, but you know, here he is right here in front of Harris. Yep, that's illegal. Homeland Security illegal. They seized, uh, phew, how many? There's over a million dollars worth of merchandise just three days ago. Over a million dollars. Now they'll count those millions as the retail price of the authentic wear. So a shirt that might be $49 and he's selling for $29. They count it as $49. Eleven o'clock. No thanks. Okay, in the shade, I think we haven't hit 50 degrees yet, not 49 maybe, 48. In the shade, it's pretty chilly, especially got a little bit of wind coming in here.
but when we get in the sun, it's real comfortable. I just don't know how to judge how many uh, people are here for San Francisco and how many for Kansas City. They're all wearing the same color. See, those are San Francisco, and they're wearing red jerseys, and there's the Chiefs wearing red jerseys. They don't even know who to fight. The pizza place is closed. I can't show y'all pizza today. I know you're heartbroken. It's a good time to get an in and out burger. Just before 11. of these places should be open and, and rocking out right now. I mean, in New Orleans, three or four hours before the Super Bowl, I mean, they are serving hurricanes and rocking out. Yeah, this is lame. Yard house got a big line going in there. Guess every seat will be taken here in about five minutes. They've got a big uh Why is that cookie dough place not open? Super Bowl Sunday. Huh. Surely they could be making money. We got some fans wearing black. San Francisco black. Makes it even more confusing. I don't think when the game kicks off, they'll, they'll know how many are, are from which fan base.
Some guy climbed on top of the sphere a few days ago, all the way to the top. They claim he did $100,000 worth of damage to it. He made it to the top in 20 minutes. He's a professional climber. He climbed the Aria last year, or maybe that was 21. But the reason he keeps doing it is because the news reports it. They want him to stop. They need to uh, act like it didn't happen. Okay, I like that. That's a good outfit right there. That's uh, not because I'm a pervert. It's just good, it's good thinking. It's a good cheerleader outfit with uh, boots. High heels. One of a kind. I think. It's early. These uh, girls up here, these picture taker girls, they're a little bit angry this morning. I, it, it is chilly. And that does make them angry. She dressed like. And the cowboy, the naked cowboy, is wearing a fur coat. I think that's Gronk. Isn't that Gronk? Yeah, I think that's Gronk. See in right now. Okay, this whole place is being gutted. This used to be the Margarita Margaritaville uh, Casino. Thank you. 
Traffic is actually pretty light. I think people are probably already where they're wanting to go. Most people that go, travel to Super Bowls do it every year. Or not every year, but they, they didn't, usually not their first time. So they know what they're doing.
wonder who he's for. Okay, this is, you'll see this after the Super Bowl, most likely. But I'm going to predict that they will say this is a 50-50 crowd. Now, of course, it's probably 20-20 crowd, and the rest, uh, the other 60% will be neutral, and they'll make up their mind on a bet they've got, or they'll make up their mind because uh, because they met some people from San Francisco or Kansas City they won't be true barking fans that's normally how it is but I think it's split with the true fans from what I can see it's right down the middle and that's what they want that makes a good crowd I don't think Allegiant Stadium is very uh, intimidating. So it's not a, it's not like the Superdome in New Orleans where it can get so loud you can't you can't hear yourself think. I think Allegiant Stadium is uh, pretty. Uh, I don't know. Quiet. I mean, I don't think you can make it loud. Usually that's because the field is further away from the spectators. It's built so it can have a tremendous amount of other activities in it. Huge concerts, monster trucks, could have rodeo in there if they wanted to but there's so many other places for the rodeo that they don't want to probably compete oh look that guy's getting uh, some gas people over there he's got his business back oh and he's got a barbecue truck in the parking lot Good, how are you? <laughs> that dog like me. Dogs know dog people. Yeah, that's the guy that lost a whole shitload of money on the Formula One. Mainly on his gas because he gets about a dollar fifty more than everybody else per gallon. Fill up an average uh, vehicle, he's getting thirty dollars more from you than you could get almost across the street yeah across the street he's getting five dollars they're asking sub 379 a lot of vehicles uh hold 25 gallons so yeah you get murdered over there wow look how quiet this street is this is koval that's formula one in front of us Top golf over there on the other side. The thing about cities like Las Vegas, Orlando, Los Angeles, but especially Vegas because they've got the most hotel rooms, uh, an event doesn't affect the whole area. It just like right now, Mandalay Bay is crowded, but everything else is pretty normal. It's just another Sunday. So Ellis Island is doing um, this area here they call the front porch. It's $110 per seat. Open seating. First come, first serve. $110. I don't know what you get for that. I don't know if you get any beer or you get any uh, food. Or you, or you got to buy that on top. 
I'm gonna go in there and find out. So the Formula One property has been completely vacant. I mean, not completely. They've been working, getting all the crap out of there. But uh, it was said to be going to be a like a Formula One museum and be a tourist attraction. You'd think that they'd have that ready right off after the race. Yeah, evidently, they don't have a lot of planning on it. But this is the Koval. Look, there's only a few barrels on this street. Oh, what a welcome sign. I mean, that's it's been a long time since this has not had barrels. Of course, they got those barrels up there at the stoplight. That's uh, some kind of corruption. Someone's getting paid for those barrels that shouldn't be. Yeah, you know how I feel about those barrels.